hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you very very much for watching this is the first video i've sort of filmed in my new flat and i'm just filming it in my bedroom because um i think that the living room the ceilings are too high and it will just be really unpleasantly echoey um but yes i'm gonna do a haul video today for you guys and um, before we get into it there's one really important thing i need to point out in this haul video which makes excuse me, which makes it unlike previous ones I've done in that everything I'm going to show you in this has been gifted to me. This hasn't been deliberate at all, I just have happened to be sent a lot of things recently, and um, some of them are for projects that I've been shooting, some of it's like end of the story stuff where I get a monthly voucher with them, so there's a few end of the stories bits from there. Um, I just happen to have been gifted a lot of stuff and it's all things that I've personally picked out online as well but I just wanted to make it really clear because normally the majority of what I share with you is stuff that I've paid for um, at the moment as a lot of you know I just moved flats hence being in a different space so all of my spends are going on homeware things at the moment so I'm incredibly fortunate to be sent clothes so I can still create content like this for you guys um, but yeah, not really buying clothes or spending um, money on clothes at the moment. So I just wanted to make that really, really clear so we all knew where we were at. But as I said, it's all items I've picked out myself and all pieces that I'm really excited by as well. So I'm going to start with this jacket because it was just right on the bed because I've had it earlier. Um, it is this cream cord jacket from Massimo Duty. It's so, it's like fully lined and beautifully thick and really, really soft. Like the cord is just a really, a really nice thick, deep cord with these gorgeous light tortoise shell buttons. Um, I love the detailing on the cuffs that you can just see here as well. A really nice big collar and then just the little tabs on the back. Would these be called tabs maybe? Um, I absolutely love it. I feel like because it's quite a light colour, it feels really good to transition in. It feels quite summer appropriate still, but the thickness and the warmth of it actually makes it a really good autumn piece. The big front pockets, everything, I just think it has such a nice fit to it. They do do a matching skirt as well, but I didn't, I didn't ask for that. I just have been sent this jacket. I and mean, I've already worn it quite a few times. I'm going to um, show you with some of the other pieces that I've got to show you styling wise. But as you can see, it's so good to just throw on with anything and just has a really effortless look to it. It kind of reminds me of something that you'd expect to see from Isabel Moran or Chloe or something like that as well. Um, but yeah, the quality of it is what makes it feel really special. So that was the first thing from Massimo Duty. Now, the second piece of outerwear that I have is from and the stories and it's this leather shirt I'm sure online they describe it as a shirt not a jacket but I have been wearing it as a jacket now it makes me feel like Buffy the Vampire Slayer so I'm absolutely obsessed with it and again I'm going to show you different ways to style this as we go through the video but it is just a really long line I'll let me just put the cuffs down so you can see properly a uh, black leather shirt in the most soft buttery leather ever um, it has really light popper buttons going through it, sort of like magnetic poppers, which are nice. But the thing that I really like about it is that when you wear it done open, it kind of comes together at the top of the collar really nicely. Um, and I just wish you could feel how buttery soft this leather is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really, really lightweight. It's lined, but it's really lightweight. It isn't like a leather jacket, so I can understand why they're calling it a shirt online because of how lightweight it is. But personally, I don't think I'm ever going to wear it as a shirt. I think I'm always going to wear it undone. And um, it's kind of a similar length to long line blazers and as you can see it's quite long in the sleeves and everything. Um, but I just really like it, mostly because it makes me feel like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which as you guys will know is always a good thing in my book. So yeah, this was a recent thing as well. I probably, I, when I first tried this on and got it out of the packaging I was like god I love it but I feel like it's going to be really hard to wear. But this, I've worn it three times in the past week actually. Um, and it's been way easier to style than I imagined. So another new thing, these amazing cream high-waisted trousers from Under the Stories. Um, these are so, so, so flattering and just really, really high-waisted and quite a long leg. I feel like I'm a broken record with this, but for reference, I'm about five foot eight and most of my height is in my legs. So these, blah, 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 blah. the length of these is skimming the top of my foot. If you were more of an average proportion, I would say, um, or just slightly less tall, then I think that they would be a lot longer. And if you're petite, they would require heels. So just so you've got that in mind for like the reference of my own height. But they're the most flattering fit over the bum, around the waist and everything. These could definitely be worn for work. 
I've been loving wearing them with trainers, mostly like my slip on vans and stuff. I did an outfit where I had this with a cardigan over my shoulders and it felt really chic. I also wore it to um, one to fashion week with this jacket as well for an all creamy outfit, which I like, have been really into this color palette for the summer, but definitely wanting to carry it through into the winter, just like winter whites and lighter colors feels really nice and it's really easy to transition in. So yeah, these trousers have been a major, major winner for me. Um, and the photo that I posted with them on Instagram got tons of likes, so it seems like you guys are a big fan of them too. Okay, next is this skirt from Marge. Um, just before, because I think I get some questions, the t-shirt that I've um, had on throughout this video and been styling things with is my men's Uniqlo U1 in a size small, which I've been wearing literally as soon as it gets out of the wash, I've been putting it back on, I've been super obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, this is a skirt which actually has like um, shorts in the lining, so it isn't like proper skorts because the, um, the shorts are just made of nylon, like it just feels like lining. But because it's such a mini skirt, it's just such a good way of making you feel a little bit more um, covered up and unless like you're going to flash everybody everything if you sit down. So I absolutely love it, mostly for that design feature, but also for how it looks. Um, I really like the tartar print of it. The, it's not easy to get out of if you need a wee, is the only thing I'll say. But it's got this nice zip here and then these buckly things, and it is the buckly things that like... You know, if you'd really left it too long and you were bursting and you were panicking and you were stood like, ah, oh, you wouldn't want that to happen in this because it, you could have an accident. So if you wear it, you need to make sure you go for a wee in good time is all I'll say. Haven't had that experience with it yet, but um, hopefully we'll never have to. And um, it's just a really flattering length and again, high-waisted. Now I wore this exact outfit again the other day. Actually, I had on a thin black knit because it's been kind of cold. Uh, with the leather shirt from under the story and I was loving it because it was like buffy and then a bit of a clueless vibe but all in all a very 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 90s vibe um, and yeah just this is what I mean about this shirt jacket thing as well the length of it it looks really good with jeans as I just showed you but I also like how long it is with mini stuff this is like a really nice transitioning thing that I always like to do of matching up your hemlines a little bit so from the back you kind of just look like you're wearing a jacket and being a bit cheeky um, and the heavy fabrics and everything like this is really thick this fabric and then the thickness of this t-shirt or if you wore a knit or whatever even though it's super short and you've got your legs out still feels quite autumnal and just cozy with really great textures and everything like that so yeah I loved this outfit when I wore it and I got loads of compliments on it and it also did very well on Instagram so it was another one that you guys really liked okay guys on to the last few items let me just tilt you down a tad do you know what I was just thinking I was being like really good and tidy and not throwing stuff on the bed here but then I realized you can see the reflection of the pile of clothes in the mirror waste of time um two other items here First is this silk blouse from Everlane, which I absolutely love. I love this shade, this sort of mustardy shade. Um, what is this style of shirt called? I should know what this style of shirt's called, but I don't. I love the boxy fit of it though. I love the lapel collar um, and the little like white buttons and everything and the fact it's a slubbed matte silk as opposed to something shiny. It still feels really, really luxurious, but um, doesn't look quite so evening eh? however with these trousers I think because de oh, gee whiz with these trousers I think it is definitely something you could easily wear into an office or just for work in general um, and then I just styled it with my white slip on bands to make it a bit more casual um, and yeah the other items are these under the stories black trousers which may well be some of the best black trousers I think I've ever 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 had these fit amazing. They have a button at the front and then just a zip and they um, have two box pleats, dart pleats, some sort of a pleat down the front which makes them incredibly flattering and then a really small turn up on the ankle. They are honestly like, I know the quest to find the perfect black trouser seems like an incredibly difficult and ongoing one. I know it's something that I really struggle with. These are the best I've ever, ever, ever found easily. The fit of them is just amazing and so, so flattering. The way it cinches you in, isn't too tight over the bum, isn't too tight over the hips, not too tight down the legs, but still is really nicely tailored. So whether you're just like me and you don't have an office job but enjoy a smart trouser or do work in an office where you have to dress for business, these would just be amazing for, for anybody basically. I'm really, really, really excited about them. I'm really excited to be sharing them with you guys because I get lots of comments about 
doing testing basics for black trousers and where do I recommend to find them and I always struggle to answer because I always genuinely really struggle to find pairs that I love but these are absolutely great and I really like this combination but also they would be very easy to dress down to and like wear with big chunky knits oh actually I've got a knit from and other stories that I want to show you as well this yeah I'll just pop it on over the over the over the Everlane shirt this was another thing that I got on my allowance this month this like oatmeal knit I think I had it on in a vlog actually the other day and a few of you asked where it's from it's from under the store it's just this cropped jumper with huge sleeves as you can see um it's really 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 nice and soft and everything so this sort of a look for winter just tucked in really really nice and casual but the color of this is rather gorgeous there we go it's focused it looks like the right color on camera too um, and yeah nice and oversized and then with this really nice huge ribbed detailing on the neckline too so I'm loving this now I almost forgot to add this in here then I'm glad I just remembered that one too and um, so yeah this and the trousers both and the stories back in my jeans and t-shirt that I had on earlier just to show you the last thing um, which is a blazer from and the stories now you guys will, I'm sure, remember the pinstriped navy blue wool one that I still wear all the time and had since last season. Well, they've redone it identical, but in a navy blue with an orange check. And it looks like this. You, I, that wool blazer is one of the best blazers I've had. And I absolutely love this one. I'm just going to tilt you down a tad so you can see a bit better. So as you can see from this close-up, it is navy blue with this really wide orange check on it. And it's the exact same fit as the one from last season too. So really boxy, really, really nice and heavy. The fabric is gorgeous. Thick, thick, thick wool. So this is so warm. Last time I wore my wool one throughout winter, but with, you know, increasing numbers of layers on underneath. So like starting with a t-shirt, then a thin knit, then a thermal and then a thermal and a really thick knit and so on and so forth but they are a great piece to buy now you'll find that you can wear it through the coming months a lot and um, to be completely honest I still think I prefer the blue pinstripe one I think I was still end up reaching for that one more as well but I was just really excited to see that they've done the exact same style in a different um in a different print and colorway just because it is such a great blazer for such a good price as well. So, yes, as always, and the stories providing me some amazing pieces in my wardrobe. Um, so, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. This is the last item from this. Everything will be linked down in the description box, as always. I hope you don't mind me having shared things that are all gifted. Um, it honestly doesn't change the way that I, like, talk about pieces or anything like that. And as I said, because I'm focusing on homeware things at the moment, I'm really very, very, very fortunate and very thankful to the brand sending me things because otherwise I would be struggling, struggling to create fashion content where I'm able to show you what's new in, in the shops at the moment. Um, but because of that, I'm also going to be creating lots of stuff where I'm re-wearing older pieces as always. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to be completely transparent that I actually haven't paid for a single item I've shown you in this haul today, which isn't normally the way I would do things. Um, so I hope you don't mind. But thank you so, so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one.